If you've ever gotten a little too much help from a friend, you know the predicament the world is in. Joseph Joachim was one of the best economists of the day. Brahms wrote a few for all. Well, it's not a very good day for a motorcycle ride, but it is a good day for some motorcycle maintenance. So here's a little problem that's been bugging me for quite a while, and it's the case of the loose gear shift lever. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of play there, even though I've replaced the bearing and the seals, and there's no wear on the shaft. Turns out this is pretty common. Almost any old airhead will do that. So what's the solution? Okay, we're going to start by removing the retaining clip that holds the ball end in place. That can be easily done with a screwdriver, like so. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to remove the foot peg, br foot peg bracket that carries the gear shift lever. Let's pop that ball end off of there, like so. All right. Okay, we've removed our shift lever from the foot peg bracket. Now I'm just going to press that needle bearing out of there to the half inch socket. Like so. Okay, what we want to do now is measure up the bore size and the pin size to fabricate our bushing. Now the bore is going to be the same as the outer diameter of this bearing, which is just 18 millimeters. And the shaft that it rides on looks like 12 millimeters. So, this is a piece of Delrin, which is a very tough self-lubricating industrial plastic. This piece happens to be three quarters of an inch in diameter and I'm going to use that to make my bushing. Okay, so here's my gear shift pivot with the new bushing fabricated on a lathe out of Delrin. Here's the old bushing which I removed. Now I want that bushing to fit tight on that pivot because I want the motion to be on the larger diameter, which makes for a better distribution of wear, and also makes for a, a sturdier pivot. <clears throat> I've also used this 25 thousandths thick industrial shim stock to make a small round shim, which is going to protect against any wear between the pivot and the mount. And now we're ready to mount it back on the bike. Okay, so there's our shift lever mechanism all assembled. I've used a little bit of molly grease on there just to keep things nice and smooth and it's ready to go back together. Okay, there it is. A nice tight gear shifting linkage. Now all we need is some good weather. <laughs>